Hello everybody, Zyvox here, and today we're going to talk to you about plowing. How to plow, when's the best time to plow, what it does to the field, and also how to create new fields. So, let's get started. Now the first step in plowing is getting a plow. So plows are located under tools, under the plows tab. And you're gonna notice that there's a huge jump in horsepower each step of the way. Like massive, huge jump. They take really beefy tractors. Most people are gonna be in these two categories right here. We're gonna stick with the easier one today, the PLH5, it's only 14,000. I haven't noticed a difference when adding a different design, so we're gonna keep it the same. Also, Plowing, you only have to do it every three days. So instead of buying it, I would suggest just to lease it. Okay, now that we have our plow out, you go to the plow. And on this one, you just back up to it and you connect to it like so. And you're ready to go. Now I'll meet you at the field and I'll show you the next step. We are at our next step, we're at the field, and you're probably wondering like how, how do I know when I need to plow my field? Well, one tip is every three harvests you need a plow, or let's say you just bought a field like I did, this is field 20, I just bought it. You go into your map, you go under soil composition, and you look under this little tab that says needs plowing, and if it's red, it needs to plow. So tw level, or um, field 20, is red, it's ready to plow. So let me show you how you do that. Go up to the field, you line up like so, you lower your plow. And what I like to do is I just hire a worker. Oh, not yet. And there you go. Just hire a worker. Things you need to know as you're plowing is that this is going to take an extremely long time. So what I suggest to do is maybe lease another tractor and another plow and have it start on the opposite end. Also, whatever crop you have on the field, let's say you just bought the field, you're not interested in keeping the crop that's on there. If you take the crop and just plow it into the ground, like I am doing so, it actually adds to a full bar of fertilization as well. So that's a good thing. Also, if you do not plow, let's say you just skip the step, you have plowing on and you do not plow, it's a negative 15% to yield. So don't do that. Just plow, get it done and over with, and you'll be good to go. It takes a while, so I'm going to let this run for a little bit, and I'm going to show you how to create fields. So we're at our field, and we just noticed that this field next to us, which we just bought, we want to join them together. So this is field 20 and that's field 21, but we're like, hey, this little spot, it's wasted. We want to add more uh, field. We want to join them together, add them together as just one big field. So the way you do that with the plow is you can actually go down. If you look in controls on my top left, there is a little button that says allow create fields. You tip, hit that. And now you can create fields. And just like using a regular plow, you can now use it on field that wasn't already designated by the map that you're on. So how this works is you turn it on and then you just lower it and you have to drive this yourself. Now you drive straight. And now that is new land that you can plan on. And everything you do from here on out is manual on this little patch. <clears throat> so after I get done and I actually join these two fields together, um, when you hire a worker during this little patch that I'm filling in right now, it might not work. You might have to do it manually, but you'll have two fields that are joined together and you have more yield. And you don't even have to stop right here. So. You can go and do the whole right side, the whole left side, but you have to own the land. That's another thing. You can't just add fill to land you don't know. You have to own the land. So let's see if I can fill this up real quick. It's kind of difficult. You just lower it like so. And there you go. 
and you do this manually you just fill it in and uh, fill 20 and 21 will be joined from now on and it'll be one great big field there's one more thing I forgot to mention about plowing is don't forget to turn it off because if you just drive around with it on it's just gonna make a mess of things so make sure you hit your button to turn it off or it's just gonna keep plowing and creating new fills and making a mess of things so hit that button and voila it is done and for those of you out there who are using a small tractor and this plow in particular and you're noticing a loss in traction when you're trying to plow there is one easy fix if you go to the store and you go to weights and you pick yourself up a weight it's kind of like a counterbalance and you pick up the weight and you add it to the front of your tractor it will greatly improve your traction when you're plowing and move it around and whatnot so we've learned how to plow when to plow which is either after you buy a new field or after three days. What happens when you don't plow? It's a negative 15% on your yield and also how to create a new field. So I wanna thank everybody for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and have a nice day.